Hi, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday, too. Hope everyone's having a great week. It's actually Monday here, and it's brutally cold. It was like 10 degrees this morning. It's like 17 now. It's supposed to be in the 30s tomorrow, so it's just a one-day thing, but um, it's cold. I feel bad for people that can't afford heat or, unfortunately, are homeless. Uh, my middle son has a friend from school who uh, our family was having some issues, and... They didn't have heat. I think they have heat finally today, but he brought over some blankets and electric heater last night because it was cold. And, I mean, he's a good kid, so I, I would expect no less from him. But anyway, enough about that, cold. So let's talk about how to instant cycle a tank. Now, first let's talk about the, the nitrogen cycle. If you don't know what the nitrogen cycle is, pause the video, open up Google, and type in what is the nitrogen cycle? and then read for about an hour about what it is. I'm gonna simply explain it here. In our fish tanks, fish create waste, poop and pee, which is basically ammonia. There's this uh, bacteria that lives in the water that takes that ammonia and, and uh, converts it to a different kind of uh, chemical called nitrite. And then there's a different kind of bacteria that takes that nitrite and converts it into nitrate. Now, ammonia at very low levels is dangerous to our fish. It can burn their gills, cause all kinds of problems. Nitrite at very low levels also can cause some issues, death even. Nitrite, nitrate on the other hand, 40 parts per million, 60 parts per million, probably okay for most non-sensitive fish. But when you talk about water changes in the nitrogen cycle, you need to figure out, uh, based on your nitrate, when do you change water? Some people always change water once, a, you know, 50% once a week, 50% twice a week, 50% every two weeks, just because that's what they've always done, then it's worked. And if it's worked, it's fine. Uh, on tanks that I have to change water manually, which there's only one in this house, thank God, I wait till my nitrate levels reach 40 parts per million, and then I change the water. It's a heavily planted tank, so basically I never change water. I top it off, but I rarely actually drain water unless I'm cleaning it, and that's once every six months because I'm a lazy SO. All right, back to the nitrogen cycle. Fish create waste, poop and pee. Then bacteria turns it in from ammonia to nitrite, then from nitrate to nitrate. That's called beneficial bacteria sometimes called BB, because I'm lazy, I would put BB if I was emailing, texting, or answering someone on social media. Now, you might be saying to yourself, what does this BB have to do with me insta-cycling a tank? Because it takes six to eight weeks to cycle a tank. Even when people tell me to use the smoke and mirrors stuff, it still takes six to eight weeks. It could take six to eight weeks. It could take six to eight days, it could take six to eight minutes. The way I cycle tanks, it takes minutes. You need an established tank first, or a friend with an established tank, to instant cycle a tank. What do I mean by instant cycle a tank? I mean, you go to the fish store, you buy fish, you come home, you fill that tank up with water, you put the fish in, and it's cycled. You may be saying to yourself, well, how can you instant cycle a tank like that? Well, it's pretty easy. Let's assume you have a 10 gallon tank, pretend this is a sponge filter, with a ginormous sponge filter like this. In that same 10 gallon tank, you have a second ginormous sponge filter because you heard one day that over filtering is fine. There's no such thing. And while that may or may not be true for uh, hang on back filters and canister filters because there's water flow, it is indeed true that you can over filter if you have a box filter or a sponge filter. And here's what I mean. Beneficial bacteria will only grow as much as the food source lets them. So in your 10 gallon aquarium where you have two ginormous box filters or sponge filters, your fish only create enough ammonia, waste, pee and poop as you feed them. So if you feed them a little, they're only gonna create a little. If you feed them too much, they're gonna to create too much. 
That said, if you have one of these filters, half the beneficial bacteria will be in this filter, half the beneficial bacteria will be in the other filter. Here's how you instant cycle a fish tank. You go to the fish store, you find these guppies you fall in love with, and you buy five, and you come home, and you're like, okay, what do I do? Some people might say, I'll just take half the water from my original tank, and that'll make sure the water is the same kind and be filtered. No, I meant cycle, but that voice was laughing at me in my head. There's very little beneficial bacteria that's beneficial bacteria. There's very little beneficial bacteria in the water column itself. In fact, I like to tell people there's none because this way they don't think of a crazy idea of taking dirty water in a new fish tank. Most of the beneficial bacteria lives either in the filter or on stuff. So let's say you have this filter, and uh, sorry, you have this fish tank, you have two of these ginormous box filters, and you want to instant cycle a tank. You go to the fish store, you come home with your fish, you fill up your second 10 gallon tank, you take one of these filters out of your tank, you drop it into the new tank, boom, instant cycle. Here's why that tank is instant cycle. The beneficial bacteria in this filter is enough for five guppies. The beneficial bacteria in this filter is enough for five guppies because you had two of these in the original tank with 10 guppies in it. See how that math works out? You take one of these five guppies worth of beneficial bacteria filters, throw it in the new tank, bam, instant cycle. Assuming the bio load is equal to or less than. If you're taking a fish tank with 10 guppies in it, and you take one of your filters out, and you put it into a tank with an Oscar, or a flower horn, or some plecos, that tank probably will not be instant cycled for very long because they are waste machines. So let's just say you have 10 guppies, you go by five guppies, boom, chicka, boom, boom, instant cycle in that second tank, right? Easy peasy, nice and squeezy. Now you're saying to yourself, but Mike, what do I do about my original tank with 10 guppies? I only have half the beneficial bacteria. Just half, Mike. What should I do? Easy. Go feed the tank for three days. The beneficial bacteria will continue to live. The fish won't be pooping and peeing as much, AKA making waste and that will let the beneficial bacteria start to sort of equalize and then you start feeding a little bit so they don't create as much waste but that will allow the beneficial bacteria to catch up it might take two weeks for it to catch up as long as you feed correctly check your water possibly do water changes you'll be fine the other thing you can do is if you have one of those um, if you have a fish tank with half the beneficial bacteria you need, you decide not to feed them for three days, you check your ammonia, and you have a little bit of ammonia, drop some Seachem Safe or Prime in there. That'll neutralize it for 48 hours. That buys you some time and you're done. Now I'm talking about this all nonchalantly because I do it all the time. I currently have four empty tanks, which is a lot for me. When I say empty, they have water in them. They're all ready to go, I just don't have fish. So I put those filters in other fish tanks to maintain the beneficial bacteria column. When I put them back, when I put fish in those tanks, they're not gonna be, there's not gonna be enough beneficial bacteria in that other tank to keep it. Now I have an auto water change system, so it's easy. If you didn't have an auto water change system, you would have to check a little bit, perhaps add some prime or safe, perhaps change some water, but it's not gonna crash as long as you're not stupid. And by stupid, I mean overfeeding, not paying attention, not watching your fish to see if they're not looking so healthy or great. So let's go back to how to instant cycle your fish tank. First, you need to have an extra filter in one of your established fish tanks. That filter needs to have beneficial bacteria in it, so it needs to be established. You can't just drop it in and three days later think it's established. It could take weeks. You may be saying to yourself, well, how do I know? You don't. There's no way that I can tell you to check if it's established. 
If it's been in a fish tank for six weeks, eight weeks, and if the fish tank itself is established, I would say yes, established. I would even go as far as four weeks. Really, two weeks and there will be some beneficial bacteria, so that will jumpstart your cycle. But you have a fish tank with two filters in it. You take one of the filters out. You put it in a second fish tank with a smaller bio load so that the beneficial bacteria can equalize and even out. Boom, second tank instant cycle. First tank, they'll feed for three days, possibly double dose with uh, prime or safe. Check your parameters, watch your fish, you'll be fine. Speaking of checking your parameters, I don't even have a test kit. What? Michael from Michael's Fish Room doesn't have an API master test kit, which you can find in the link below if you want to go buy one. No, I don't. I watch my fish. If they don't look healthy, I change the water. It's usually what I do. Of course, if I see disease or something, I treat that disease. But for the most part, that's all I do. Why? Because I have lots of experience caring for fish. I know what a healthy fish looks like. All right, boys and girls, that's it for how to instant cycle your fish tank. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have questions or, or uh, just leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my boy Scott and his girl Liz, King and Queen Cichlids. You know he's my boy. And uh, hope everyone has a great day. And I will see you Friday with a fish room tour. Around the world fish room tour. Peace. Yo. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone is having a great week. It is hump day, and um, yeah, I got absolutely nothing. That was stupid. Hi, you fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday. Hope everyone's having a great week so far. It's the middle of the week, pretty much on the downside, head into the weekend. It is, actually, it's actually Monday today. It's brutally cold. It was like 12 degrees this morning. And um, for those of you that live in like Alaska or Montana where it's like this all winter long, screw you. I, I don't know. I got nothing. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone's having a great week. Guys, do me a favor. Before we get started, go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. And for some reason, I keep getting these emails or messages on Facebook. Do you sell fish? Yes. It's the whole reason for the channel is so you watch my video in an, in its entirety and then you click on over to my website michaelsfishroom.com so why don't you guys do that what the heck all right that's kind of weird i don't mean to yell at you i don't even know what it's a prop hi fishy folks and happy water change wednesday to you guys before we get started in this extra special super spectacular video do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and obliterate the notification bell. Just annihilate it, smash it with a jackhammer, if you will. Then gently, boop, caress it, the notification bell. And when we're done, check out michaelsfishroom.com. Now, off topic, I've been getting at least three emails a week for the past three weeks. Do you sell fish? Yes, I talk about my website in every video because I'm trying to drive you guys there because every time you click, I make like an eighth of a penny. Anywho, today's video is gonna be I was doing so well. I really was. <sighs> you may be saying to yourself, what kind of cigarettes do you smoke? Because you must be a crackhead. I know you don't smoke. Anyway. Um, So, I lost my train of thought. This is gonna be a good blooper because I have no idea what the hell I was saying. I'm five minutes into the video and I don't wanna start over. <laughs>